Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the uh, January 23rd meeting of the Wheatfield Town Board. We do have a couple of preliminary public hearings this evening. The first one has to do with a community development block grant program. This would be a project going on potentially at the Summit Mall. Uh, it's been worked on by our consultant, Chuck Bell, and the folks from the Summit Mall are here this evening. So, Chuck, I'd like to turn this over to you, and you can let us know what it is you're looking for. Great, thank you. Um, so, for the town board and, and the public as well, uh, in, tw in uh, 2016, uh, for the first time, the town of Wheatfield uh, actually applied for and received community development block grant funds for an economic development project. That is a project that uh, is eligible for those funds by creating jobs in the town and creating jobs that are available to people of all income levels. Um, that was the Jacobs Ladder Project. What we're looking at is the possibility of going in with another application. And the folks uh, who are here representing uh, Summit LP, the limited partnership, are not looking at this point in time for the town board to uh, authorize that submission. They want to talk a little bit about the project. And then as a part of the parameters of the Office of Community Renewal, the New York State Office of Community Renewal Grant Program, uh, required to hold a public hearing, but uh, also wanted to get out in front and, and talk a little bit before the town even considers submission uh, and, and get a handle on the project and open it up for uh, any public feedback or any questions from the board. What we're looking at is um, preparing uh, an application that we would want to uh, submit in the next couple months. So the hope would be maybe at the next board meeting uh, to, to have it on the agenda as a possible, uh, possible authorization. So that's the timeline that we'd be looking at, uh, subject to uh, getting all the materials together uh, from the business uh, and, uh, and also subject to comment today in the public hearing. Um, what the business is that we're talking about here, uh, we're talking about the Summit Mall property. But um, we're talking specifically about one of the first big investments um, within that property in quite some time. Uh, and, that is, and that is the, uh, the creation, uh, development creation of a brewery and uh, associated restaurant. So uh, the, the, these uh, are, are interesting and exciting and, and, um, uh, projects in their, in their own right, but also uh, they uh, will support some of the, the activities that I think you've already heard about uh, that are being looked at in terms of uh, uh, the sports domes. So with that, um, I, I'd be happy to answer any questions about the process, um, but also want to uh, allow for the, the, the business owners and investors to talk a little bit about the specifics that they have proposed. So uh, I guess first, if I could just give a minute if there's anybody who has any questions specifically about the process, but uh, also be available um, after they talk to, to speak to that. And then otherwise, I will turn it over to them. I guess first we should ask any board members, do you have any questions for Chuck or the developer at this point? This is the second project that the Wheatfield LDC has done, correct? Yeah, and uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. It's, and, and, uh, people are asking me, you've done one, now this is going to be the second one. How successful was the first one? Because it, it was really our first project. And yeah. Tell us a little bit about the first project and how, how it went. Yeah, two points on that. One, uh, you mentioned the Wheatfield LDC, which I, I should have mentioned up front. That is to say um, that if this funding is applied for and, uh, and received, the structure would be that the town would get the grant from the state, would then partner with the local development corporation to then um, oversee the project from the public side and, uh, and administer it and then uh, provide the funding. But yes, uh, we, we, we had a go around here in 2016, and that was the Jacobs Ladder Project. And that has been uh, very successful. Um, all the investment is complete. Uh, the original job creation that was proposed um, at, at the, the threshold job, or job uh, creation that was needed to um, sustain the grant and, and to make it worthwhile from the state's perspective uh, has already been e exceeded. Um, and, and they continue to hire. Um, I think we're going to be seeing uh, you know, somewhere between um, eight to ten full-time employees that uh, will be uh, on site really within the next six months. Uh, but already uh, six uh, people have been hired since the application w was uh, submitted and funded. Uh, that was a, a relatively small by Office of Community Renewal Standards um, application 
There was uh, $90,000 that ended up going to the company. Uh, a portion of that was in a loan, and then uh, a term loan, and a portion in a deferred loan that the LDC uh, will be monitoring. So I, I think it was a success, uh, for, both in terms of the investment side, for sure, the job creation si side, for sure, and operationally, it looks like the company is thriving in their new location in the town uh, on Walmart Road. Thanks for the update. Okay, uh, our, at this point, there are probably not many questions from the floor. Uh, I think maybe we should go to Mr. Robinson and explain the project just a little further. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, what we plan <coughs> in the, uh, the mall, we have an approximate um, 15,500 square feet uh, uh, adjacent to um, the Hens and Kelly store, which is a two-story structure within the mall. And we're planning to um, put in a 20-barrel brewery, uh, a commercial brewery, and then we also wanted to add a five-barrel teaching brewery uh, which would be allocated about two, uh, 4,000 square feet for classrooms, lounges, washrooms, and such. Um, we have to do some um, work within the uh, structure since uh, we need floor drains and other things like that. Um, we have about $1.8 million in equipment um, for both breweries. We're going to have uh, another six to seven hundred thousand dollars in renovations to the space itself and we're going to put a tap room in and um, uh, about ninety percent of the brewery is going to be a wholesale in which we're going to be having um, one or two different distributors within western New York distribute our beer and uh, we're going to have a, a tasting room so that the uh, public can have an opportunity to taste their different brands and we're going to have seasonal brands and things like that. And we've uh, held uh, discussions uh, for about nine months uh, with the Niagara County Community College uh, to provide them a teaching brewery and um, they're, they just started a brewing program last fall and um, because they don't have a brewery uh, they've been having uh, maybe a little bit slower uptake on interest in, in their brewing program, but we um, have notified them as of Friday that we're going to keep uh, options open to them, and we're going to be probably supplying $195,000 worth of equipment for their five-barrel teaching brewery. Uh, we've already oversized uh, our particular 20-barrel brewery to be able to offer um, hot water and stuff to their five-barrel brewery uh, so they don't have to pay for extra vessels and things like that. So um, though they're not committed 100% right now, they also have, um, we want to keep the door open for them in the future. They also have um, uh, 500 hours for each student uh, internship required and they've uh, uh, expressed a, a great interest in having their students uh, take part in our different venues in the mall. So uh, we, we anticipate uh, uh, it's, it's going to be called, uh, in fact I have a picture of it here, it's going to be called the Big Thunder Brewing Company um, and uh, we're going to be uh, the uh, LCC, uh, the LLC I should say company is going to be formed within the next uh, 30 days and uh, we get underway with the project. Overall it's probably about a 3.3 or 3.2 million dollar project. Sounds nice. Any questions from the board members for Mr. Robinson? You didn't mention, but I, I, we heard earlier, I think, about the two domes that yes. are being constructed. Can you tell us? I know That's your, fine. Pro your project's not tied to that, but because you're Believe bringing me, more I activity to the mall, <laughs> maybe you want to talk about what's going on there, too? I, I know all about it. <laughs> I'm with it every... We have two 96,000-square-foot uh, domes that are connected to each other. Um, with actually washrooms connecting the two and then they're connected to the mall. Um, uh, Neil Turvey is our manager uh, for those domes and uh, we have estimates of between uh, 600 and 700,000 people coming through uh, the mall as visitors for the uh, contracts that we have negotiated for the, the lease of those domes so far and we actually anticipate more. In fact, we have a waiting list 
So, and that is between October and uh, May of each year. So, um, and then we're also predicting, uh, we're actually designing um, ball fields and soccer fields uh, in the property across the street. We own 579 acres there too. And uh, we're, we want to make this uh, sort of a year round uh, uh, soccer, baseball type of uh, uh, activities going on throughout the year. So uh, we have, uh, that's something that's, you know, usually the winter months are the slow months, but with this kind of traffic coming through the mall, we really anticipate that the brewery will do very, very well. Uh, we also have a sports bar restaurant, um, which is, uh, we're, we're uh, getting very ready uh, very soon to, to implement, which will be um, at the same time that the domes will be, which is, uh, we're aiming for October 1st, uh, 2017 this year. Okay. Any other questions from the board? If not, we'll ask questions from the floor. Does anybody have anything they wish to ask on this project? Okay. There's no further questions. Thank, Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. I'm going to go ahead and close the first public hearing.